Hey guys! Welcome to my vlog. Gusto ko lang kayo guys i-update sa aking annulment kung ano nang nangyayari. Um, it's been few months since na i-forward ang aking annulment sa higher court. Kasi nga last year, na-dismiss yung aking annulment dito sa aking province sa Sambales. And so, um, I forwarded to um, the higher court sa Manila na. So, um, na-forward ko yung aking annulment sa higher court that was, I think, October 2022, nung last year. So, now it's um, May 2023. So, it's been few months na ang aking annulment. So, I'm still waiting. Wala pang resolve. So, um, I don't know how long, but I think it's not that long na. Kasi nasa higher court na siya. So, I'm just waiting for, for the response ng higher court sa aking annulment. So, um, marami kasi guys nagtatanong sa akin sa mga nakaraang mga vlog ko kung ano yung mga procedure, kung ano yung nangyayari na, or something. So, I just wanted to answer that question na wala pa pong resolve ang aking annulment. It's been more than 3 years now. And I think, no, actually it's almost 4 years na yata akong nag-apply since nung um-apply ako. Um, and I don't wanna go back talaga kasi medyo talagang na-stress ako sa aking application ng annulment. Kasi yung procedure nga, it's not only um, the financial uh, financial problem that I was actually dealing with way back nung nag apply pa ako. Um, it's not only the money, it's the time that I was um, putting effort and everything, like waiting and so on and so forth. So that was really very hard for me to wait because I was really expecting na, oh, okay, it takes two years or whatever. And then two years na non wala pa rin. Well, dumaan kasi na may pandemic, right? So, isa sa mga reason din na nagtagal kasi may pandemic. But during the pandemic, na ongoing pa rin yung, yung um, case namin dati. So, um, we were doing the online sa court, right? So, um, it was a little bit hard for me because I'm paying the lawyer for every court hearing that I had. And um, it was so very, very uh, inconvenient also for me because I was... I have to travel from Pampanga coming back here in Sambales just for my annulment, right? Well, I live here in... I was living here in Sambales, pero nakabis na ako sa Pampanga ngayon. So, um, it was a little bit tough for me to, like, travel to go back and forth just for my annulment, right? And, um, kasi nga yung annulment ko dati, dito ko pa sa Sambales. So, I have to come here for the court hearing and, and all that. So... It was hard, right? And also, the time and the money that I put is not a joke. It's it's very um, big amount of money for me to spend also. And waiting, waiting, the time, dun ako na stress talaga. Well, it's part of that process, but... Right now, I'm still waiting, right? Pero at least nasa higher court na I know na medyo at least less na yung pag-aantay ko. Siguro, I'm not sure. But we'll see. But sa annulment guys kasi, depende kasi sa it's case-to-case -case problem, right? We all have the same, I mean, we all have different um, situation na pinagdaanan about our ex-husband. So, I just wanted to let you know guys that annulment and divorce is different. Annulment, kailangan yung dalawang parte or yung asawa mo hindi talaga kayo dapat nag-uusap sa divorce is difference um is different it's once you agree doon sa na maghiwalay na kayo i-approve na nila yon right in annulment is different so yung mga iba na aba kahit hindi pa naaprubahan or whatever mga nagtatanong it's the yun yung may may, may law tayong sinusunod right so yun yung procedure here in in the Philippines and i know uh, may pagka weird, right? But what can we do? It's it's the it's the processing in the Philippines that we have to follow. So um, I was very very upset before, kasi nga bakit ganon yung procedure sa Pilipinas? Tayo na lang yung walang divorce, tayo na lang yung 
ganyan yung annulment, whatever. And there, I have a lot of friends in Pampanga actually that they they wanted to get married, pero nga dun sa dun sa annulment na procedure dito sa Pilipinas, yun yung pinaka yung pagdadaanan mo, right? Some people, they have money to spend for their lawyer. But the thing is, the procedure that that makes them upset, right? Um, it's not it's not easy for for everybody to apply for annulment. Yung iba, mas less yung approval nila. Yung iba, na-approve agad, right? Whatever. So, it, it depends. Kanya-kanya kasi, eh. hindi pare-parehas yung lawyer, hindi pare-parehas yung pinagdaanan, hindi pare-parehas yung mga nangyari for the past, you know, from the past marriage. So, um, we really don't know it's the lawyer or um, the judge actually who will, you know, who will approve your annulment. Maswerte ka kung naaprobahan ka in a year or two or whatever, it's good for you. But some people, hindi nga, ano, um, depende, right? But anyways, I cannot say anything against my lawyer, but, you know, um, once you... Once you apply your annulment, make sure that you're gonna get a good lawyer, a great lawyer, to be honest. Because once you spend money, you really have to get a good lawyer for you. Yung ganyan siya, yung mabilis, right? Um, yun yung pinaka gusto kong ishare sa inyo, guys. You really have to know the lawyer. You really have to get a, a proper lawyer for you to uh, for you to help for the processing of your annulment. It's not the lawyer who will approve your annulment, but it will help you for the processing, right? Um, especially pag kukuha kayo ng lawyer na private, some people, they, they, they were telling me sa, sa, ano, sa comment na, oh, I'm paying uh, sa, ano, sa um, yung mga um, lawyer na may mura din naman, right? O, oh, kanya-kanya. Depende yan, guys. Um, may mga lawyer din na mas mura or whatever. Depende yan sa inyong gusto, right? And depende rin sa yung kapasidad nyo na magbayad ng lawyer. Um, but anyways, um, i-update ko kayo, guys, once na na-receive ko ang aking annulment or may mga pagbabago or something na mangyayari or nangyayari sa aking annulment. But guys, leave a, leave me a comment for you guys pag may mga question kayo or you can private message me in my Facebook account, Cecil Movilia. You can always, always message me and contact me. I've been um, talking to different people from overseas na mga OFW din na kababayan natin na gustong mag-apply ng annulment, na may may gusto rin mag move on sa kanilang buhay i was trying to um communicate with them as much as as i can so at least you know they i can share whatever na yung na pagdaanan ko about the procedure of my annulment right i cannot compare my procedure to other um, people na nag-apply ng annulment kasi it's case to case basis and remember guys na divorce is different from annulment na ang divorce sa uh, states or saan man, iba kasi yung divorce annulment. So, just um, take note, guys, magkaiba sila, right? Annulment in the Philippines, may procedure po tayo na sinusunod. So, your lawyer can explain it to you. I'm not a lawyer. I don't have, like, really um, um, knowledge about exactly what's going on sa ating, you know, sa ating law. But, ang may share ko lang sa inyo yung aking yung alam ko at pinagdaanan ko during my annulment procedure. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for uh, for other um, people na nag-view sa aking vlog, na nagsisend ng messages sa akin. Thank you so much. And I will get in touch with all of you who ever wanted to uh, ask questions or something. Alright? And we'll speak to you again and have a good day, guys. Bye!